Thanks for pulling over. Sure. Something wrong? We've got a problem up ahead. A big accident. We've had to close the road. Uh, right. We're diverting all traffic through Little Hope. You okay, buddy? You seem a little confused. Yeah, I'm fine. I just want to get these folks to where they need to be. I doubt a short delay will trouble them too much. Head up the East Road. Takes you straight through Little Hope. Adds almost no time to your journey. chip any harder, it'll wear away to nothing. Right. How long have you been sober? A few days shy of three months. Impressive. I heard the first 90 days are the toughest and roughest. I know it doesn't add up, but I get something from holding on to this. We're going the wrong way. It's fine, just a quick detour. It's not fine. Calm down. It's all okay. Oh, hey. please, John, could you not patronize me? Can you keep it down, please? Stop it, James. You know I hate it when you don't take the things I say seriously. Come on, sweetheart, I do. I just had a rough day today. Can you believe they are at each other again? I can. You're drunk. What a surprise. I just caught the game with the guys, honey. That's it. That's not it. Never is. There's talk. Some of us may be losing our jobs. The factory... You've been saying that for years. I'm more worried about Megan. What's wrong with Megan? She looks okay to me. Everything looks okay after 10 beers. Reverend Carson held her back after prayers today. That's four weeks running. She's not right. It's serious, James. You worry too much about that kid. I can't deal with this right now. Another surprise. You can't deal with anything. When would be the right time? You're making a mountain out of a molehill. Getting yourself worked up for nothing. For nothing? Single-handedly keeping our family together family. is far from nothing in my book. I could use a little help. Maybe if we'd had kids of our own, none of this would be happening. That's a real low blow. Don't you get how tough this is You're not is the only me? one feels pressure. The factory situation is serious, Anne. Real serious. Not right now.
unpredictable, like a record that keeps playing over and over. Dennis, for the 10 million time, will you shift that shit of yours up into the hey, attic? Some respect. This is a valuable, rare, and sought after collection. <laughs> I think she was a marine sergeant of past life. What's curled up his ass? He's being even more annoying than usual tonight. A real jerk. So what else is new? Hey, Dennis. Hey! Not now, sis. I'm busy. <gasps> hey! Quit acting crazy! <sighs> oh! Jesus! You scared me, sweetheart. I heard you talking about me. Not now, Megan. I'd like to have a bath in peace. Take a break from this madhouse for a while. Maybe you should talk to mom and dad. It's not a great idea for me to get involved. You know what I'm like? I just upset someone. They sounded more serious than the usual bullshit. They were talking about Megan. She's done something bad. I can't say I'm surprised. There's definitely something off with Megan. I don't get why everyone keeps picking on her. Okay, Mr. Shining Knight in Armor. Where's the little princess anyway? Megan's gone upstairs. Maybe you could go check on her? If you don't have other plans? I'll go find her. Keep an eye on your little sister. Mom is real worried about her. It's okay, Dad. Tanya's checking on her right now. You want to try raising a family like this? The devil himself would struggle with you guys. Perfect distraction from this madhouse.
Anthony, where are you, goddammit? Anthony, I'm getting really pissed off! You could be right about my family. I think so, too. Tanya! What's going on? That little brat locked me out! It's fucking freezing! I'll let you back in. Go easy on Megan. Hold on. Megan out!
Won't you spare me over till another Welcome back. I have a new story for you. It's very different to the last. <laughs> Disconcerting, no? I'm sure there's nothing to worry about. This particular story isn't fully fleshed out. It's only part written, and the choices you make will complete it. The fire, no, there was nothing you could have done about that. What's happened has happened, or has it? Anyway, look to the future, I say. Life's but a walking shadow, eh? You are about to enter a confusing, perhaps disturbing world. How disturbing might depend on what you choose to believe and how confusing on the path you choose to take. There are an infinite number of directions in which one could travel. We seldom have all the information that we'd like, but we have to choose our path nonetheless and hope that we get the clarity and the outcomes that we want. As in life, your decisions will matter. The choices you make will affect others. You've seen how the story starts. So much death. How many more deaths is entirely up to you. It depends on the decisions that you make. What are you? Rational? Emotional? Do you trust your head or your heart? There is no right answer. Sometimes one is best and sometimes the other. My advice for what it's worth is to thine own self be true. but uh, <laughs> I'm here simply to record what you do, not to help you. <clears throat> I'm not supposed to interfere, you see. Not my place, apparently. But I am apparently allowed to share wise words from great storytellers that have gone before, where I feel that that would be appropriate. Oh, one final thing before I let you go. There are pictures in Little Hope, 
that will, if found, show you a vision of a possible future, something that may or may not happen. Use them. They might help you. You have a funeral to attend. Off you go. Have fun. Hmm. I do enjoy a good funeral.